Hi guys and ladies, Miss Lulu Cheeks is once again visiting her mother this weekend. So I'll be alone to experiment, to push the envelope with a novel recipe. And I found one for tilapia tots. I was thinking, why not fresh bluegill nuggets? It could only be better, right? Let's go catch some fish. <laughs> I've been having a lot of luck lately with this. It's just a mealworm on a jig hook. So I thought, why not go with it again today? Sometimes you just have to throw those smaller ones away. They're just not quite enough meat there. Miss the cut. That was a little guy. Woo! Uh, and then other times you you bring in a nice one. I can judge their weight by wrapping my hands around them. Quite good enough. Heavy. Oh yes. Oh yes. Got my worm. Yeah. Now the sun is out again. I have to admit it's pretty though. Not very big. Oh, hefty enough. Oh yeah. They fool me all the time. Ooh. Not too bad. Big enough. I needed it. It had been a long time. over the place. Okay. Oh, a nice one. Wow. That gives me five fish. That's more than enough for this bluegill nugget recipe I have in mind. Let's go in the house. It was another enjoyable time fishing yesterday. I only needed five bluegill to produce almost a pound of fish fillets. But now the directions are sketchy. They say I'm supposed to bake the fish unseasoned until they flake easily with a fork. Well, I'm just going to guess this. I'm going to put them in a 375 degree oven for, I don't know, 12 or 13 minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's been about 12 and a half minutes. Let's get them out. <laughs> they don't look like anything special, but now I'm supposed to put them in a big bowl, break them apart, and let them cool. It smells good. No seasoning. Now I'm supposed to add four eggs. Not only that, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Wait a minute, wait a minute. In a medium bowl, combine almond meal, baking powder, lemon pepper, garlic powder, and salt in a bowl. 
Here we go. Almond meal. Uh, lemon pepper. It's about a, this is a cup and this is over a teaspoon. Uh, garlic powder. Again, just over a teaspoon. Uh, salt, one half teaspoon. Uh, baking powder is one teaspoon. Okay, now I'm supposed to add these dry ingredients to this uh, bowl of wet ingredients, including our fish, and then stir. It's, it's coming together. The recipe doesn't say how much oil to fry in, so I'm going to use my usual one stick of butter and enough oil to cover the surrounding bottom. That should do. Well, I made these balls just now using this scoop and they were messy, so messy I, I couldn't touch the camera to show you guys. So I'm gonna put them in now. Making them in advance is kind of good because the cook time is about the same for all of them. I guess you don't have to worry about the cook time because the fish is cooked. You just want them brown. So let's start turning them. I counted 21. I'm letting them cook maybe like five minutes. They're about done now. Let's take them out. They're bigger than nuggets. Maybe you could say bluegill balls, but... Oh, they smell so good. I really like the way the bluegill nuggets turned out. You know, I have to tell you, when Miss Lulu Cheeks isn't with me on weekends like this, I sometimes imagine asking her to marry me. If I could only get my courage up. If proposing were only something I could practice. Oh well. Hey, how about if I make some guacamole to go with those nuggets? These are really good. They remind me of Hush Puppies, but cheesier. Oh, Miss Che, I mean, Miss Lu Lulu, I love you. Will you marry me? No, no, no. Uh, Lulu, I love you. Will you marry me? No, no. Lulu, I love you. Marry me. No. no. 